Hello, welcome to Rando Tech Info and our Hear Through Sound Battle featuring ambient mode on the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro and transparency mode on the second generation AirPods Pro. And over the course of this battle, we will be attempting to answer two questions. One, how will do both of these modes work? And two, which one works better? Both modes on both sets of earbuds basically work the same way. They both use their external microphones to pick up the sounds going on around you, and then after some magical onboard processing and amplification, funnel those sounds into your ears. To put it another way, it's basically the opposite of active noise cancellation, which uses those same microphones to digitally cancel out the noise going on in the environment around you. Personally, I find hear-through modes to be the more practical of these two types of modes, and I find myself using hear-through modes on both of these buds far more often than I do ANC. And I think this will hold true for most people with preteen children or grandchildren or people who like to run or exercise in the great outdoors. That said, if you are interested in seeing an active noise cancellation battle between these two sets of buds, be sure to let us know down in the comments. And while you're clicking around, if you find yourself enjoying this video, feel free to give it a like and consider subbing to the channel. I'll think about it. Now, while both sets of buds are warming up for their big battle, there are probably a couple of other things we need to mention. First, if you are the kind of person who likes to listen to music with the volume cranked up to 11, then transparency mode on the AirPods Pro probably won't do you much good. And that is because even with the Pods mics pumping in outside noise, that noise probably won't be loud enough to hear over your tunes. The Galaxy Buds, however, do have a voice detect feature. So when your voice is detected, the buds automatically turn on ambient sound and lower the volume of your media. And in my experience, this feature does work exactly as advertised. However, while this feature is very cool, I don't actually use it because when I try to, one of two things inevitably happens. Because the feature only works with my voice, people still have just as much trouble getting my attention when I'm jamming out. And two, if I accidentally make any sound with my vocal cords, the feature will engage even if I don't want it to. So the bottom line is to get the maximum benefit of the hear through modes on both of these audio delivery devices, you will probably need to keep your media volumes down to 50% or below. And finally, just know that while there are some special features on both of these sets of buds that won't work outside the respective ecosystems, both the hear through modes and active noise cancellation will work just fine, regardless of the device these buds are paired with. Okay, let's head on over to the sound isolation chamber and get testing. A few seconds later. So here's how the test is going to go down. With one of the sets of buds in my ears, we're going to start with white noise. We're going to start with the volume level at zero and increase it until I can hear it. And when I can hear it, I will record that decibel level. The test will then be repeated with the other set of buds. We will run this test with different types of white noise, as well as with music and an audiobook. And to get a baseline, we will also run these tests without wearing either of the buds. We will then run all the tests again with both buds while listening to music through the buds at 50% volume. And we will finish up the test by testing adaptive transparency mode on the AirPods. Adaptive transparency is an always on feature on the AirPods Pro second generation and it is supposed to increase the sensitivity of transparency mode when listening to softer sounds and decrease the sensitivity of transparency mode with louder noises. Now, over the course of our testing, we will learn how well the pods pick up quieter sounds. After all, that is the point of the test. In order to test how well the pods handle sudden loud noises, we will unpause some music here in the chamber at full volume and see how well our hearing is protected. And just for poops and giggles, we will also do the same thing with the Galaxy Buds 2 Pros. All right. Let's do this. Yet an hour later. All right, the tests are over and the results are in. And as you can see, both sets of buds perform similarly across the white noise, music, and voice tests. And perhaps even more importantly, there was also no real difference between both sets of buds and not wearing any buds at all. Both sets of buds also showed a similar ability to pick up outside noise while listening to music through the buds. Although obviously neither are able to do as good a job here as when there is no media being played. As for the loud noise test, I couldn't really tell any difference between the buds when I unpaused the music pumping through the sound chamber at full volume. Both buds did dampen the sound a bit, although I would not say by much. However, both sets of buds were able to much more noticeably reduce the sound of a car horn. The sound was much less piercing with the buds in my ears, and if anything, I would say the Galaxy Buds did a little better with this. Although objectively, I would probably call this a tie. So I guess the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro have an adaptive ambient mode. Who knew? So at the beginning of this video, we set out to answer two questions. As for the first question, how will this transparency and ambient modes on these buds work? I would say they both work great. With their respective sets of hear through modes activated, both allow you to hear what is going on around you as well as if you were listening with the naked ear, which is kind of the point. As far as which does this better, I would give a very slight advantage to the AirPods. While the sensitivity of both modes is basically the same, I would say the sound funneled in by the AirPods is a little bit cleaner. If I had to describe it, I would say the noise pulled through the Galaxy Buds sounds like it's coming through a really high quality speaker, while the sound pulled in by the AirPods sounds more natural, almost like you 
weren't wearing any buds at all. But to be fair, the difference is so minor, I don't really think it should be the determining factor as to which of these pairs of buds you pick up. I would just go with the pair that has the exclusive features you prefer or goes with your ecosystem of choice. Well, that's all the knowledge I have for one day. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. And until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.